So if you've clicked on this video, you're probably seeing an error pretty close to this one, where you have an untrusted domain whenever you're trying to log into your Nextcloud server through your TrueNAS server. Now, obviously, I am not a networking expert, so when I first got this error, I had no idea what it meant. I knew that it had something to do with my recent IP address change, but I still had no idea what to do. I found forums online that were totally, completely unanswered, and everybody just seemed to kind of either figure it out or they didn't. So I didn't ever find any YouTube tutorials on it, so I'm here to make one today. I found somebody on Twitter that was luckily able to help me out and help me figure out what I was doing wrong and how to get to the configuration file that I couldn't find and he guided me through the whole process. So I wanna make a YouTube tutorial to hopefully help someone else out. So first what you're gonna to wanna to do is head over to your NAS page on your internet browser and then go ahead and go down to the shell. So once you get to the shell, the first command that you're gonna to wanna to type is ls slash usr slash local slash www. So as of 2023, this is all working. This is working on my server. I don't know if this will continue to work for future versions, but that way I know if it's still working or not. But anyway, after you type in that command, you will get this. Now that it has listed the directories, we're going to want to find that config.php file that we've been looking for. So go ahead and type in find space slash space dash name space config.php. Now that we've located the file, we can move on with our next command. So I'm not going to continue saying them, uh, it just makes me look stupid. I'm just going to continue putting them up on screen. All of the code that I'm verbally speaking and that's popping up on screen will also be in the description down below as well. So after you go ahead and continue on with that, Okay, I screwed that up a little bit. Ignore that little typing mistake that I had, but once you get here, you're going to move on to the ls, which is just going to be to list the directories or everything in that directory, and then go to nano config.php. And then there we are. So we have our config file open. So use your arrow keys to kind of go down here and you're gonna be looking for that trusted domains line and then a couple lines under that, you should see one equals arrow and then the old IP address. Now, if you had maybe changed your router recently or had some sort of major networking change, you're going to have a different IP address. Just throw in your new one and then you're going to do control O to save it and then control X to exit. Now, in my case, I had to do control O and then hit enter to give it the file name, but you don't want to change that file name. You want to keep it the same file name. And then I did control X to uh, exit, but um, it'll sometimes be different just depending on occasion, server version, you know. Other else than that, go ahead and try to access your next cloud page. Now, everything should be back up and running. I hope this works for you just as well as it worked for me because I struggled with this for so long and I am so glad to have a final answer on how to fix this. If you have any questions, let me know in the, in the comments. I will try my best to respond but then again i am not a networking expert i am a 15 year old kid who just happens to want to be a filmmaker and needs the storage so i built my own true nas server but other else than that i hope this worked for you let me know if it worked or not and yeah see ya